Hi everyone. Today we're talking about Blucher siphonic roof drainage. Thanks for joining me. I'm Walt C., the North Central Regional Manager for Blucher, a division of Watts Water Technologies that specializes in stainless steel piping and drainage. So to understand and learn more about siphonic roof drainage, we kind of have to understand the principles of standard gravity flow and gravity roof drainage. So with a gravity drain, what happens is water flowing downward through the, uh, uh, the slope on the roof goes to the drain. And as it goes down the vertical pipe or downward, it creates a swirling or vortex motion. Uh, the swirling, actually the water adheres to the side walls of the pipe. And as it goes through, um, clings to the walls of the pipe on the vertical. So it also generates a vortex. That vortex pulls in air from the, the top of the roof drain itself and draws it into the system. So from this case, you're only having a third of the pipe volume that's full of water, where two thirds of the volume is full of air, which is a pretty inefficient uh, flow option. Uh, the flow rate is also controlled by the ability of water to enter the drain. So uh, a function of allowable water depths um, on the roof. So where this can result to somewhat of a, a high ponding uh, and a high water level on the roof uh, because of this inefficient or only being able to use a third of the volume of the pipe uh, to bring the water out and down to drain. So looking at a complete gravity system, uh, you notice that the roof, roof is laid uh, to slope via gravity. So the water is going to all the collection points, which are the roof drains on the system. Um, in some of the modern designs, the pipe uh, can uh, increase slope that's underneath uh, the roof drain, uh, but this also kind of dictates the pipe length uh, that can be running with that slope until it needs to go uh, between and, and hit a down pipe. Um, what that creates is just a lot of additional kind of below ground drainage needs, um, underbedding, trenching uh, to be able to connect these systems to everything and connect each of the uh, systems in daisy chain. Uh, to get the water out and, and down to sewer or uh, wastewater treatment, uh, uh, stormwater harvesting, and so forth. So one of the key differences from gravity to vacuum, as you see with both of the uh, Blucher roof drain options, uh, they're the same roof drain uh, itself. The, the big difference is what we call a siphonic plate or a baffle. So what this does is it attaches inside the, the kind of the top of the roof drain um, right before where the water is collecting and, and going down the vertical pipe. What that creates is actually reduced potential for the air to uh, get drawn into the system and also decreases a lower uh, the amount of water on the roof. So when you have less water coming on the roof uh, because it's uh, basically less uh, ability to pond because as the water rises, it goes past this plate, closes off all of the air. And at that point, uh, that's where the siphonic action actually starts. So it can draw in that uh, uh, more water. And we'll get to that on the next slide here. So from siphonic roof drainage, the initial uh, rain flow basically flows the exact same as a gravity system. Um, what's happening is when you have minor flow, a little flow coming through, it's acting as a gravity system going through the system, going through the piping uh, and down to drain. Uh, what occurs is as rainfall increases and the ponding level increases on the, the roof, adding more weight to the structure, integrity and, and so forth, um, the siphonic system actually, the, at a lower water level than gravity, uh, closes off all of the air which allows the piping to kind of prime itself, uh, kick out and push out all of the air pockets in the pipe itself and create a suction effect. So this is drawing the water from the roof. And instead of a gravity system that's a third full of the volume of the pipe, the siphonic actually creates and uses 100% drawing in all of the, the water from the roof so you can see and understand how it can clear and uh, reduce the weight and the water ponding level on the top of the roof very quickly. So with the siphonic drainage, basically you see from a, a negative pressure, 
Um, and that is, is basically, I'm sorry, just head up here where it's, it's generated by the height of the building. Um, so the higher the building, basically the, the larger the pressure, as you can see, um, as it's going through that, that baffle design, uh, and the, the ponding or water level gets above that, that siphonic plate, uh, it draws in the water, completely fills the piping system and allows the pipes to actually run completely horizontal. Uh, and carrier pipe down through the down pipe and discharge. Mm. So you see in comparison from a gravity system to a siphonic system, uh, there's, there's less roof drains needed. Um, from that case, you're using 100% of the, the pipe volume compared to a third in a gravity system. So you don't have as many roof drains to be able to, in, to have to install on the system. Um, the other difference is you're using the full volume of a pipe instead of a third. So you can use less uh, smaller pipe diameters um, for the horizontal piping underneath. Um, it's also obviously because of this neg negative pressure increases for a faster flow uh, and a, a filled pipe system that's pretty quick due to that baffle design where it's a low profile. Um, so it reduces that ponding, like I've said. And which also leads when everything's going through leads to a significant reduction in potential blow ground drainage, if any. Um, it allows you to run the horizontal pipes through the uh, building um, over to a certain area of the building where you can have your um, Watts rain cycle uh, harvesting system set up um, and be able to divert and bring it to areas that are more convenient uh, from a, a disposal standpoint. So here are two of the systems basically back next next to each other. Um, you see from a gravity system, like I said, you have a deeper water uh, level or ponding on the top of the roof compared to the siphonic. Um, the difference with gravity is to get everything down, it's, it's using gravity. So you need to slope the piping, bringing it through the system. And what this slope does is actually change obviously, obviously the angle of the piping through the building. Um, it allows, uh, makes it a little more difficult from an engineering standpoint, from an installation standpoint, um, to get around other uh, services in the area, other piping, vent work, and so forth uh, that would be needed. So it makes it more difficult in the design um, practices. So the other key from a siphonic standpoint, besides the plate, is just the drawing, the design, the engineering of the system. Uh, what Blucher does in this case is we actually have a, a kind of a process that's set up to receive the, the drawing file on the building layout. Um, so once we have a complete uh, uh, completed form uh, that's just kind of shown on the, the right of the screen here, but it just answers the, the basic questions that you would for any roof drain system. Uh, you know, rainfall data for collection, the height of the building, uh, the roof area, length and width. Uh, marking any restrictions on the downpipe um, and roof drain placement based on uh, different uh, um, things that, that we can't get around from a design standpoint. Um, noting the material and what happens is we put this into um, our system and you get back a, a drawing with any uh, comments, uh, replies, if, if it will work, if it won't, along with the layouts and bill of materials. So. Uh, right here, using the Blucher Drain Star Siphonic Calculator, it uh, creates and uh, determines all the hydraulic calculations uh, for the system. Uh, gives isometric drawings of everything and the complete build layout, uh, basically of what pipe goes where, what drain uh, fittings, and when you need to increase pipe um, to basically balance flow rate and pressures in the system. Uh, the other key with with not only just siphonic roof drainage for Blucher. Uh, is just all roof drainage, uh, is the use of our push fit piping. So it comes in 304 or 316 stainless steel. Um, the key is for buildings, it is non-combustible uh, and it has a, it is fire rated, uh, very corrosion resistant, has a long life. Um, but the push fit installation is actually a very fast uh, connection point. There's no welding, there's no, clam um, no clamping or, or coupling uh, to be able to clamp down. It is pickle passivated, uh, which means that it has a chromium oxide coating covering the pipe, giving it more resistance, more strength, more longevity. Uh, and also is offered in one and a half to 12 inch in length. Obviously in a siphonic system, you'll never get to the, the 12 inch size, 
uh, basically. Um, but we do have all the offerings. Uh, generally, it's uh, two, three, four, six inch piping that, that would be used. So here are some of the just pictures in some siphonic uh, system the systems that we put up and installed. You see kind of from the horizontal piping actually down in the area where we do have the push fit increasers uh, to be able to transition from whether it's two inch pipe to two and a half, three, four inch, uh, being able to just push fit the system uh, completely together, similar to, to an erector set. Uh, and here's a little closer uh, uh, picture of that uh, increaser. So as it's going through the piping, uh, being able to balance the pressure and flow rate of the system. So from a product offering, uh, there are a lot of options that you can also do from not only the siphonic, like I said, but all of our roof drains. Um, you have a, uh, a two parts uh, rod uh, that can be used for single ply membrane or asphalt roofs. Uh, lower parts for uh, like we kind of went through um, in different roof styles and types. Um, we also have the ability from a heat tracing to be able to put that onto stainless uh, along with insulation or the combination of both uh, ship direct. So it eliminates any potential uh, kind of setup or pre-setup on the system. Uh, other accessories were all emergency drainage. Uh, this piece right down on the bottom is basically a, piece, uh, a section that uh, push fits right into our existing roof drain. So you have your emergency draining with the same um, platform and uh, uh, framework basically of, of installing the same exact drain, just adding this feature for your emergency drainage section on the roof. Um, here are some of the options uh, in different styles, lower part and upper part. Uh, the upper part is very similar obviously, like I said, except for the siphonic plate, um, but different lower parts depending on what needs to be attached in, in the roof material that, that is going on. So basically on, you know, noticing the, the key advantages to siphonic roof drainage, um, you know, you have your reduction in potential in, in roof drains on the, on the system. Uh, you have less pipe, less system um, in terms of uh, bringing it through the building. Um, less hangers due to the uh, push fit piping and stainless pipe that has a light weight. So you're not having to hanger every uh, you know, certain distance with cast iron that is, you know, a 10 foot stick of cast iron is 76 pounds compared to a 10 foot stick of four inch stainless steel that's 16 pounds. Um, so a big difference in an installation time and labor. Um, reduction in materials for even the transportation uh, of discharge the underbedding uh, that will go through underneath the, the system where because you're allowing a longer horizontal pipe um, to kind of go to one collection point, maybe two on a system compared to a gravity that would use two, four, maybe six, depending on the building layout. Um, the other key part is the piping is actually with the siphonic system is it has a self cleaning property. So with the higher flow rates, it actually rips through that pipe and self scours the entire pipe itself. Um, and one other main part to notice is where with the Blucher Siphonic Calculator and Design Assistance that we offer, uh, really from a, a complete drainage system, it is backed by Blucher. Um, so from an ANSI ASPE uh, 45 aspect, uh, the design is, uh, the liability is, is taken by the designer. And that's a key part to know for our, um, from an engineering standpoint and design standpoint, where we'll back our product and our design. Uh, but Blucher offers a lot more of the uh, roof drainage offerings um, for uh, different types of uh, applications, whether it's green roof, blue roof, intelligent roof, obviously the gravity and siphonic as well. We have down pipes, uh, compatible drain bodies for all types of roof designs. Uh, that are equally uh, suitable for both gravity and vacuum slash siphonic systems. So hopefully gave a, a, a decent understanding, kind of a basic understanding on the siphonic and the Blucher siphonic system. Uh, please visit uh, wattswater.com, uh, also our Facebook uh, page to see all of our other products uh, that Watts offers. Um, you know, especially from a, a Watts uh, siphonic system where we work with the Watts rain cycle uh, for rainwater harvesting systems. 
uh, but we have many uh, brands that are extremely well known um, and extremely durable products. So if you do have any questions regarding uh, our siphonic offerings, our capabilities, be happy to uh, discuss with you. Please post on this uh, from this presentation. Also, uh, you can email me, email below at walt.c at wattswater.com. And please look out next week on Wednesday, uh, May 27th at 12 o'clock Eastern Time, Mike O'Brien uh, from our Canadian, uh, Canadian regional, regional manager will be discussing more in terms of our push fit piping and the key benefits. Thank you.